In this video, we demonstrate how to copy the Cornell Notes Learning Vault CSS snippet from the vault that you received at purchase into your own personal vault. Let me open the folder here on Windows with the Cornell Notes Learning Vault. I'm going to go into View Show Hidden Items. This is on Windows 11, but may be different on your computer. Let us display hidden items, and you'll notice there's a folder called .obsidian. It's a hidden folder, and this is where Obsidian stores all its internal knowledge about your vault. If we go into that folder, we see that there's a folder called Snippets, and this contains all of the CSS snippets that came with this vault. However, there's another way to get to that hidden folder without having to do so through Windows Explorer. Let's open the Cornell Notes Learning Vault. Go into Settings, Appearance, and if you scroll down, you'll see a listing of all these snippets that you need. And then here there's an icon Open Snippets folder. Now you notice when I click on it, nothing appears. That's because Obsidian is opening it in the background, but it's still there, here at the folder. Now let's move the Cornell Notes Learning Vault to the side here, and then my personal vault to the other side. Let's repeat these steps. In the Cornell Notes Learning Vault, Settings, Appearance. Scroll down till you see the CSS snippets. Open the folder there. Again, it opens in the background. Here it is. Let's go into my vault and do the same. Settings, Appearance. If you scroll down here, you see I have no snippets installed. I'm gonna click here on Open Snippets. Again, the folder is open in the background. So now I have my personal vault here, which has no snippets in it. And then the Cornell Notes Learning Vault. I'm gonna right mouse click on the file, select Copy, and in my personal vault, right mouse click and paste. And now I've made a copy from the Learning Vault into my personal vault. Now I can close these folders. You could also copy other CSS snippets over if you need to. Returning to my vault, click the refresh button, then you'll see the snippet we just copied. Toggle it on. Now coming back to my sample vault, which is very simple, let's just test that this works. We'll go into edit mode. Let's pull up add file property. We will choose CSS classes. If it's not in the list, you can type it in. Then we'll type Cornell dash left. And now we can type in our queue. Sample queue. Go into reading mode and here we see our queue in the margin. So now we know that the Cornell snippet is properly installed. 